Hey everyone, in this video we're touring an awesome tiny shipping container cabin at Repère Boreal in Quebec, Canada. It was built with a used high cube shipping container and one end was modified to inset a massive picture window that brings in lots of natural light and gives you a beautiful view of the forest. The cabin is 31 feet long, 8 feet wide and 9.5 and feet tall and the interior is decked out with custom black cabinetry unique transforming furniture, and all the amenities to be comfortable. I'm going to give you a full walkthrough tour of this really cool space, so let's go check it out. This video is sponsored by NordVPN. We'll tell you more about them at the end, plus what you need to get an exclusive discount on their VPN service. So to come into the cabin, you come in through the door on the side here, and on the inside, everything is open concept. There's no separation except for the bathroom wall. As you start moving into the space on this side, you can see the kitchen area. The cabinetry is all custom made and cut with a CNC machine, which gives it a really clean and unique look with the raw edges of the wood framing the drawers. All the drawers are soft clothes and there's plenty of space to store cutlery, pots and pans, and in this drawer is stored a small convection oven. Instead of handles on the drawers, they just have circles cut out. And I like that inside the circles is stainless steel, which matches nicely with the stainless steel countertop. Right here is a small fridge. And next to it, you have a little storage shelf with a wine rack on top. This could also double as a night table since it's next to the bed. On the counter, there's a built-in two burner induction cooktop and a fairly large black granite sink. And overall, there's a good amount of counter space for preparing food. Right above, there's a bit more storage for cups and glasses, and there's also a large range hood to exhaust moisture and smells from cooking, which is pretty important in a small space like this. Actually, an interesting side note is that almost everything you see here is done on site. So the design, the container modifications, the welded metal features, and the transforming furniture. It's all made here by the team, which is pretty impressive. Moving on, next to the kitchen is the sleeping area with a large queen size bed and a massive picture window that takes up the whole wall. It's a pretty nice feature to have such an immersive view of the forest from the bed. At the head of the bed there's an LED strip for lighting and plugs for various devices and there's a padded backrest on the side so you can lean back and gaze out the window from a different angle. There's also a roller blind that covers the whole window for privacy. So when you turn around, across from the kitchen is a custom built transforming table. Right now it's folded and set up for two people, but the tabletop is on tracks and can slide out and unfold to create more dining space. There are also two extra folding chairs stored in an extra large drawer under the couch. It's great to have the option for a larger table like this to fit more people, but it's also convenient to be able to fold it away and have it take up less space most of the time. I also like the way they designed this table because it's quick and easy to transform and it's supported by wall mounted brackets so that there are no table legs taking up floor space. Now if we keep going on this side of the room you have a lounging area with a sofa bed. Like everything else in the cabin the sofa bed was custom built here on site. It's a nice comfortable sofa with thick memory foam pieces and it transforms pretty easily into a bed or an extended lounging space. Basically, you just pull out the slats underneath and then unfold the backrest to complete the mattress. And like I mentioned earlier, there's also an extra large drawer underneath to store some chairs, but there's definitely room to put some extra stuff down there. At the end of the cabin, you have a bright bathroom. It's a pretty good size and you don't feel cramped in here at all. Probably in part because of the big shower with a sliding glass door and a tall window inside. A big window in the shower like this is not something you see every day, but being nestled in the forest definitely creates enough privacy to be able to do this. There's a regular flush toilet that's hooked up to septic, and there's also a small sink and a mirror. The metal hardware to hold the sink and the toilet paper roll is all custom made. I love that the team here makes an effort to create unique elements like this. The charcoal gray tiles in the shower is the same as what they used on the floor throughout the whole cabin and it contrasts perfectly with the wood walls and ties everything together. I also think the exposed copper plumbing pipes in the bathroom and the main living area are a nice touch. Tucked away in the bathroom is the large mechanical room and storage closet and it's accessed by a pocket door. And to close off the bathroom there's another space saving pocket door here. 
A feature that's kind of an extension of the bathroom is this retractable clothes hanging wire. You just pull it out and attach it to the other end across the room to air dry your towels and clothes and then it tucks away to be out of sight when not in use. Above the bathroom door you almost don't notice it's there but behind the angled slots cut out into the wood is an electric heat pump that provides heat and AC to the unit. Having it completely out of sight is a nice touch. So that was a regular walkthrough of the space but I also wanted to show you kind of an aerial view inside the cabin. I like this angle because it makes me think of floor plan drawings that you would see in the design phase. I think it gives an interesting perspective and it helps visualize how everything is placed in the room. Because it's a vacation rental, this cabin is very minimally decorated, but it would only take a few personal touches like some plants and an area rug to make it feel like a home. On the outside, you can still see most of the original shipping container with lots of exposed corrugated steel and massive cargo doors at one end. It's an interesting visual reminder that the shell of this cabin had another life before it was repurposed. The cedar accents balance out the industrial look of the container and make it feel more welcoming. And the massive wooden frame at the end is a dramatic feature that defines the outside of the structure and makes it unique. There's also a private deck at the back with a picnic table and a fire pit for spending time outside and enjoying the sights and sounds of the forest. Repère Boreal is an eco-resort that was started by two brothers who have a passion for nature and design. And they've put a ton of effort and care into creating unique spaces where people can come spend time in the forest and unwind. It's definitely worth coming to check it out and we'll put their website in the description so you can find out more. We want to thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. We've been using their virtual private network for years and it's become an invaluable tool in our day-to-day -day online activities. NordVPN increases your security and privacy online and protects you from all kinds of cyber attacks. One example of a cyber attack that you should be aware of is the man in the middle attack. This is where someone creates a trap Wi-Fi hotspot that isn't password protected and when you connect to it, they can intercept your data. NordVPN is designed to protect against attacks like this and they encrypt your data so that even if you accidentally connect to a hacker hotspot, your data would still be safe. Protecting your online data is really important and we're excited to let you know that right now you can get a two-year plan at a huge discount plus four free additional months when you go to nordvpn.com slash exploring alternatives. They also have a 30-day money-back guarantee so there's no risk in giving it a try. So to get this exclusive deal, our link is nordvpn.com slash exploring alternatives and we'll also put the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.